afternoon or night. Welcome to your not so local news broadcast on demand. Today we have a very serious and mature topic to talk about. Superheroes! But we're not just talking Star-Lord, Batman, or Superman. We're talking about the real ones. The ones who have changed our lives, who don't revolve around a movie. But before we begin, let's start with the quick game. Which guy? Welcome everybody to Which Guy? I'm going to show you three different so-called heroes and you're going to have to guess which guy actually is one. First up, we have Iron Man! I'm the real superhero! I'm Captain Thanos! Super... to today's topic by defining the true definition of hero. Hero, a person who is admired or idolized for courage, outstanding achievements, or noble qualities. Brian Glutino, can you explain that for us? Correction, Brian, superhero, as I legally changed it 20 seconds ago. Um. Anyway, Brian, can you explain the true definition of hero for us? Uh, yes. The definition of hero basically means that a person is really liked or appreciated for something really good that they have done. Right. I don't know if you remember Guy from the game earlier, but he is a perfect example. He saved plane loads of people, twice. Just think about that. Let's jump into an exclusive interview with Guy Eby. Hello, Guy. We know that you were a Navy pilot in World War II, and then you were an American Airlines captain. And we know that you saved a plane load of people over this Pacific Ocean in World War II, when your plane was hit by a Japanese gunfire. Yes, uh, we were at the mouth of the Angus River, and this Tojo came down and attacked us, us. And we had hit with four of their shells. One hit the instrument panel in the cockpit, and uh, the shrapnel from the instrument panel hit both pilots. One was severely injured, and the other one had an injury in the eye, and he was unable to see. So I was in the back and ran forward and tapped the co-pilot on the shoulder and he got out of the seat and I got in. And now I thought, I have the plane and I pulled back in the control column and nothing happened because the cable was shut off. And uh, I was able to reach over and fly the, the plane on trim tab. Oh, so you made it all the way back over, over the water and you made it all the way back to your base. Yes, yeah, some 200 miles. Wow. And then, 20 years later, you avoided a mid-air collision with another passenger plane and saved both plane loads of people. Well over 300, right? Yes. 
we know that there was a new air traffic controller starting his shift right then. And he didn't see that you were heading right into the other plane. And you couldn't see it because it was super cloudy. So how did you actually see that the other plane was there? Uh, we were in a situation weather-wise where we could see in the cloud, but you could see the stars above. So that it was like maybe a mile of visibility. And uh, since they reported the weather and we were in the same weather situation that the other plane was in, I became somewhat uh, apprehensive and was overly cautious. And then the controller told us to descend and I gave the command to the autopilot to descend. And now I see the other airplane. What did uh, you do then? I saw the, uh, the cabin lights of the other airplane and I p pushed over to avoid hitting him, which was absolutely going to happen if I didn't do something. So p people in the, that were not seat pellet went up in the overhead. And you just barely missed it by 20 feet. Yes. Wow. How do you feel all of these years later about people calling you a hero? I don't know. No, no particular feeling in that regard. Thank you so much, Guy. It was such an amazing pleasure to talk to you, and I am sure the audience would agree. Good. Nice talking to you, Mikhail. <laughs> Thank Bye -bye. you. Wow. That was an amazing interview right here on this broadcast. Can you just believe that he saved two planes from crashing into each other and then saved a whole another plane from crashing into the water when the pilot was shot? You know who could be another superhero just like him? You. You could be the one who saves hundreds of lives just like Guy Eby. Who's the super guy instead of you? That's it for today, everyone. I was so inspired today that I'm going to go outside and pick up trash. Thanks for watching your Not So Local News broadcast on demand. See you next time. Say bye, guy. Goodbye. <laughs>